Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. Today we have a very exciting lesson. I'm going to teach you how to scrape a website inside uh, make.com. Uh, I will dive right deep in. Uh, I'm going to create a new scenario as always. I'm going to name it scraping. I'm going to save it as always and I'm going to create a new HTTP make request. So, so don't be scared of this one. Make request is not a very uh, scary thing. This HTTP, it's just the same thing that you do every day when you put a URL inside of your browser and you, and you click enter. Uh, this, is, this is doing the exact same thing. This is making a request, which is a get request. What you're basically saying, get me the, the most updated version of this website and show, show me that, that website. This is exactly what you're doing. So what I wanted to do is get this, um, this website that has jobs for engineers. I'm going to go and I'm going to get that and I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to run this. So as you see, we got a 200 status code. That means it is successful. If it's 404, that means it's not successful. We have this long HTML document, right? Uh, what we do here is uh, I could uh, create a regex, uh, sorry, this one, and say convert HTML to text, and I'm going to get the data from here. So this way, uh, I can run this, and I will, uh, and I will see my html in a text form okay this is much more readable but for now what i want to do basically is uh, i want to get the, the these jobs these main jobs and the links to them right and to do that i'm going to inspect this and i'm going to select this here and see where it is so it's in a it's in a div call with a class of job all of them right and inside of that class, there's a an A tag with a class of title that has the URL and the text. Uh, so this can be easily done with a regex. A regex is a regular expression, right? So I'm going to create a new regex and I'm going to say match pattern. So what I want to do is match certain pattern. I'm going to say that, so first of all, I'm going to, the, the, the text would be the HTML. Okay, and the, and the pattern is what I want to say, right? Um, now, I did it here in ChatGPT. You can go ahead and uh, do it as well in ChatGPT. So what you do with ChatGPT is basically you tell, you tell it, um, so you, you tell, I want you, I'll, I'll provide an HTML code, uh, code and I want you to write me a regex that select the text inside of the div of a class uh, with a class of job and then uh, with ChatGPT you can chat with them and uh, uh, it gives you basically the regex that you should use inside of uh, inside of your uh, inside of that node okay inside of the pattern so I'm gonna put that here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say global so it matches everything and multi-line as well okay so let's try that I'm gonna run there you go. So what we got is uh, 100 listing of those uh, of those jobs, right? We have the 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 second part of the URL and the title. So what I want to do now is create a variable that sets multiple variables because I I have multiple ones. The first one is going to be title, and I'm going to take the title from here. And the second one is going to be URL. And I'm gonna, first I'm gonna get the first part of the URL, which is this bit. I'm gonna put it here. And then for the second bit, I'm gonna remove the dash because this second bit has a dash already. Okay? So I'm gonna click okay. So what this will do is create the variables for us. Now I'm going to store this in a Google Sheet. I have a separate tutorial on Google Sheet 
make sure to follow that and watch it so I'm gonna add a row and I'm gonna add it to my tech jobs uh, spreadsheet sheet name and then for the title I'm gonna grab the title and for the URL I'm gonna grab the URL okay now since I'm gonna align and I'm gonna save now since this exports bundles so that means it will do this whole scenario uh, in the, uh, the same amount of bundles you have so if you have a hundred it will do 100 operation if it's a if it's an array it would be different so whenever you have a collection it's different than array an array is you have to specify which uh, which number of their which, in which uh, position of the array that you want but in collection it will go ahead and do everything and this is exactly what we want so what I will do now this is the spreadsheet that I have so we will watch this as it populates here let's go so I'm gonna hit run there you go you see it populating let me go to the spreadsheet quickly to see this go there you go it gets me the title and gets me the URL it gets me the title and the URL this is basically a free scraping of this website now I could do a lot of things with this now I could for example uh, email this to uh, to me every day for example I could pick uh, 10 jobs for each day right uh, let me try one of those there you go it's working so what I could do here is uh, first of all I could make it run every day once every day for example every day or days of the week and get me the newest jobs uh, I could post those new jobs on LinkedIn by adding here a LinkedIn uh, by adding a LinkedIn create a post a user post uh, I could uh, post it on Instagram I could post it on Facebook I have so many things I could do now okay so this is a very clean and fast and free way to do scraping of, uh, of any website what you want to do is just get the website first then select parts of it by going to inspecting uh, where what is the main div that you want what is the class name of that going into chat GPT speaking with chat GPT in order to help you write the regex to match the pattern then create variables to store those information and then uh, from that put that in a spreadsheet and from the from here since you have them saved you can do whatever you want you can post them you can save them you can email them you can do whatever you want this is the power of make.com uh, all right uh, i hope you found this uh, lesson easy uh, as always i will leave some links in the description box below that are useful and you can download also this blueprint so you can just don't have to recreate it yourself uh, if you did like this lesson please give me a like subscribe so i know you're liking the lessons so i could do more thank you and have a good day